Hey guys, Jen here from Maine and Such and Such and Be Scented. I'm working on my next wholesale soap. This is a Spellbound soap, which is a dupe of Love Spell. I just call it Spellbound. Um, the lady wants it sent, um, it, the same colors that I normally do, which is the white, uh, purple, and pink. But she wants me to try to do a tiger stripe. So I'm going to try to do that for her. I'm pouring slowly that way all the water has time to kind of get out because I'm going to use this container for one of my colors so I'm going to split it off into like three equal parts <laughs> I'm not going to um, stick one this a lot. And with our milk, which is coconut milk. Coconut milk is just easier to come by for me. So um, I've switched to coconut milk. It's still just as yummy. And with our fragrance. blending I'm going to do at this time. So I'm going to pause you guys. I need to clean out my water. Alright, I just wanted to clean that off so my stick blender kind of goes in semi-clean water there. And we're going to get this measured out into three parts. my equal parts. I'm gonna scrape out the rest here. Just like so. to do purple, pink, and white. Magic purple from Be Scented. It's BeScented.com. I have lots of people ask me, which I'm always like kind of flabbergasted when people don't know who Be Scented is or where I get my colors from or my fragrances. I'm kind of like, what? <laughs> I mean, my YouTube channel name, you know, kind of screams uh, where I get it from. But hey, who am I to judge? Go straight over to pink. Now to purple.
now we'll start pouring. It's as simple as that. Now, I've got my two molds here. This one. There we go. All right. No particular order other than when I start, I'll keep them in that order. So we'll start with white. Now we'll go to pink. You definitely do not want a fast moving fragrance for a tiger stripe. That's why I said it was okay for this scent, for this design. I'm just initially stirring some of the bubbles out and then I'll try to pour a little bit faster. And when it's first starting it's a little bit harder than once you get it going. Just try to pour in the same spot down the center every time. You need to make a second pass, that's okay. Maybe you feel like you didn't pour enough. My sister-in-law loves this swirl. Says I don't do it enough. So I'm going to keep doing this over and over again and I'm going to pause you guys so I don't keep you forever. Alright, now I'm about done here and then I'll do a little swirl on top. So you can see once you get to the top, it kind of um, starts layering on top of each other. Alright. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Kind of go like that. That's pretty. All right, and I'll bring you guys back for the cutting. I am back to cut the spellbound soap. Now this is going to be done one inch bars and I need to clean because I can't see my one inch marker. It's just a little tiny slit in my 
glass here, or it's not glass, but yeah. All right, now I can easily see it. All right, so I'm not going to do in slices. That way, um, if she wants to do samples, you know, she can. How beautiful. Tiger stripe. Smells wonderful. But these are cut at one inch bars. I haven't done a tiger stripe in a while and I think I'm gonna have to do some for my shop. A lot of my wholesale orders um, get their bars cut at one inch. Which is fine. I'll cut it however they want. I personally cut mine a little thicker. pieces because it's right at eight inches long this um, mold so she gets right at eight bars I may have cut them just a smidgen fat so that last one probably could be um, A sample if she would like. Here's the other loaf. Oh, yay. Now, I'm not perfect at cutting this, obviously, because <clears throat> I am um, doing these by hand, so it's not perfect close. And I love how it turned out. Hope she likes it. I'll take a picture once I get them on my curing rack for her. Thanks for watching.